All right, today we're gonna be unboxing a gun I've been wanting to check out, and that's the Ruger 57 or 57, whatever you prefer to call it. This is essentially Ruger's competition to the FN 57. So, first up, you're gonna get your manual. And it's similar to most other Ruger manuals, very descriptive with uh, black and white photos and descriptions underneath those photos. Ruger makes pretty good manuals. Then you've got a recall notice regarding the Ruger Black Hawk single six or Bearcat revolvers, your uh, NRA membership card, a Ruger logo sticker and uh, these are translucent stickers you can see the cutout right there uh, but yeah you'll just see the red one sticking on whatever you want to put it on and you've got your warranty registration card uh, and with uh, registering it you get a 20% off coupon and then also a card with uh, basically an advertisement for Ruger accessories and on to the other things in the box. This gun's gonna ship with two steel 20 round magazines. It's got that nice Ruger logo on the bottom there. If you haven't noticed, this is, you know, if you don't know anything about the uh, 5.7 cartridge, this is chambered in 5.7 by 28, which is a fairly a small it's a it's a 22 caliber bullet like you'd see in the 223 or 556 five, um, it's actually the same diameter uh, just typically a smaller grain um, it is a center fire cartridge and it's you know it's pretty long but yeah 20 round magazines two of them and you get your lock since this is a handgun. So, it is a rather large handgun, as you can see here. Yeah, this, this really uh, was very much aimed at the price point that FN had its 5.7 priced at, nearly $1,300, $1,400. Um, this one definitely undercut that by almost half. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, it is a f uh, definitely a full-size handgun. Uh, featured here is a 4.94 inch barrel. And the finish on the barrel is a black nitride finish. And the barrel is manufactured of an a uh, alloy steel and it is hardened steel pretty nice pretty nice so the the slide is also um, made of that same hardened alloy steel uh, the finish is a little bit different though. The finish on the slide is going to be a black oxide finish. So on the barrel, you'll be able to see it's it's uh, slightly a shinier finish while the slide is more of a matte uh, finish. You're going to have serrations in the rear as well as serrations in the front. Then you'll have a cutout in the front of the slide for weight reduction and weight reduction as well in the sides of the slide. If you can see that bevel there. And then on the top of the slide, uh, Ruger explains this on their website as an optic mounting uh, point, uh, but I've, I've not been able to find the accessories that you would use for that, uh, nor does it come in the box, but yeah. They explain these two holes as being uh, tapped for optic mounting. Yeah, the sighting system here is going to be adjustable for windage and elevation. You can see on the top right there. 
And so the rear one is gonna be a blacked out serrated rear. And then the front is gonna be a green fiber optic. And that one is dovetailed in the slide so you can move it left and right. And it is gonna be a manual safety, as you can see there. And it's a pretty long uh, safety lever. And it is an ambi safety on both sides, just no indicator on the right side of the firearm or left, depending on how you're looking at it. But yeah, on this side, you do get the indicator of whether it's in fire and safety. And you're gonna have your slide stop, slide release lever right there and your takedown lever moving towards the front and a four section Picatinny rail. And your mag release is, uh, they say it's a 1911 style mag release. Um, I guess in regards to location, not in shape, but it is swappable to the other side. Now the other controls are ambidextrous. But yeah, you get a, it's a nicely textured grip. Kind of reminds me of the P320, P365 grip texture. And that goes all the way in the rear and on both sides and in the front, leaving the middle finger section free of any grip there. And then it is gonna be a uh, trigger safety as well, so there'll be no pushing on the sides. You have to push it in center, just like that. Overall, pretty nice, pretty nice. It is a very low uh, bore axis, so you can get really, really high up on the gun there. Um, we're all pretty impressed with Ruger's design um, and competition to the 5.7 by FN. If you guys have any questions about the Ruger 57, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.